Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to WRC7 where today it is the final day at Rally France for 2018. Two stages greet us on day three of which the first one is a 7.58 kilometer 178 meter elevation change 100% tarmac stage so <laughs> it should be pretty difficult but I'm pretty confident going into this stage. We actually ran this exact same stage yesterday and we're quite quick on this one so hopefully we can jump up into the third position of which we are currently in fourth. So we managed to win the first stage on day one and then had a pretty sort of average day on day two. We dropped back quite a bit uh, but we got Mickelson and Camille around us so if we can Oh, and we actually also got Simone Tempestini in sixth there as well, right on our tail. So our focus today is on beating Mickelson. Yesterday it was sort of, we were actually supposed to be fifth, but as you can see here, Jan Kopecky actually uh, DNF'd right in front of us in his Skoda, so that helped us out quite a bit and gave us a shot at the podium, but we definitely cannot hang about today. We're going to need to make the most of this second to last stage because the power stage, which is what I just ran in the uh, junior WRC, is full wet, so that is not going to be easy, and we're actually quite slow in the junior WRC on that final stage, so we need to make up as many positions as we can in the fifth stage here, in the first stage on day three, and hopefully we can be in some sort of position to take a podium here at the Tour de Course, or Tour de Corsa, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Alright, here we go, final day in WRC2, it's the only category we've had any luck with this weekend. Junior WRC, we went off the side of a hill in the first stage of the entire weekend and we had some hardware issues in the WRC category which screwed us over as well so this is the only sort of decent result we could possibly get is in the WRC2 category so hopefully hopefully we can come away with something and fingers crossed and just I mean as much as I just want to sort of cruise through this stage and move on to the last one I feel like if there's any opportunity at a podium we need to sort of take the gamble and go fully hard out here on this fifth stage rather than the wet to final stage. Alright, it's enough talk. Here we go, final day in WRC2 for Rally France. 20, right 4, into left 3, Titan, bumps, 100. And left 5, into right 4, into crest, into left 5, keep in, into flat right, short, into left 3, over bridge, 40, caution, break, square right, cut, and left 4, short, 30, Left three, tightens. Ah, wrong gear, 30. come on. Right six, short, into left three, tightens. Long, 30. Right three, tightens two, 30. Flat left, tightens four, into right four, opens. Left one, opens, 30. Go, you could think. Into right five, tightens three, short. Into left two, and portion. Right three, into kink, long. Oh, that's the, Jesus Christ. I knew that was going to happen. And right five, into left three, don't Come cut. On. And chicane left, don't cut, into tunnel, 30. Right four, into left four, 50. Right two, opens. left three, short, 30, right three, short, keep in, into crest, into left four, opens, into right four, and left five, into flat right, and right four, tightens three, long, 40, into left three, very long, into flat right, over crest, 30, right six, 20, into hard break, flat left, into right two, long, tightens, and flat right, tightens three, 30. Oh, I just got away with that left one. Left three, long, tightens, and flat left, into flat right. 
into left three, don't cut, short, flat right, left five, tightens three, 50, crest, into left three, short, 40. Flirting with death here. Left four, short, keep in, and right three, tightens, keep in, into left five, short, into right three, short, into left five, 30. Left five, 30. Right six, short, into hairpin left, long, off camber, and left five, into right five. Left five and right four, Titan three, short into open hairpin right, into left five, 30. Flat right, 40, left five into kinks, 40, right five, short, 30, left three, hard break, Titans one into kinks, 40. Yeah, come on. Into right five and left five and right three tighten and left two short and right three 30 caution left three break into right one left three break tightens one into right five short tightens three Left five into kinks. Break hairpin right. Don't cut into left five into right five. Ah, that could have been quicker. And left three opens into right five. And right three long opens thirty. Right five tightens. Break and hairpin left thirty. Ah, left five come on. bumps, tightens, 50, flat right, 60, portion, hard break, square right, narrows, over bridge, 30, square left, widens, 30. Ah, oh, no. And oh, left six, damn it. into right so four, well. right, tightens, over here. into left three, short. Oh, fuck's sake. Too greedy. I think we just threw it into there. Into right five, short, don't cut. 100, finished. Damn it, Joseph. I knew I was going into deep in those square left and rights, but let's see how we went. Oh my gosh, we still got the win! <laughs> wow, I knew I knew the most part of that was really quick, but I thought we threw it there towards the end. Just no chill. <laughs> what a stage. I thought we may have come away with it. I was just really worried that we accost ourselves with that. Um, those two square left and square right. This was all really quick. I knew I couldn't hold back on this stage. I really needed to get something. So we should definitely be on the podium now. Yeah, no. This car, the Ford Fiesta, uh, Ford Fiesta R5, which is the WRC2 car we're running, has just been absolutely perfect this weekend. It's doing everything that I wanted to. Just slightly grabbed the side of that cliff face there. I mean, I was could have died multiple times. I mean, we slightly overshot those two square right and left or left and right corners, but besides that, I think everything else was pretty much perfect. I'm surprised that we won the stage by six seconds as well. I was hoping to at least be in the top sort of three or five, but to come over with another stage win, that's our second stage win. Um, second stage win this weekend at Rally France in WRC2, so it's been quite a successful weekend. It's just some of these sections that I could not have possibly have gone any quicker. I mean, that is just balls to the wall. <laughs> I would not have wanted to have been a spectator in real life standing on that corner.
I was really looking forward to this rally. I know because it's it's tarmac, so it's the one sort of surface that I've had the most experience with in real life and on sim racing. So I knew I had to make the most of this rally. It's just such a shame that we had that power surge at my house and WRC, which caused it all to go to shit in that category. But at least we'll come away with some awesome points here in WRC two. definitely struggled here in uh, Rally Mexico in WRC2 but in Sweden we actually managed to grab a podium so if we could get another podium here that would be two on the season and it put us in a really good spot going into sort of the mid part of 2018 in the WRC2 category. I think really what nailed us this stage is I managed to perfect these hairpins. I've had a lot of, I think I screwed one up I've had a lot of trouble getting the WRC2 car around some of these hairpins. Yeah, I think that was the one I screwed up, but for the most part, those have really cost, it, like, cost me quite a bit of time in the past. I mean, I am, I am using a button handbrake, so the ability to tap it just the right amount it is quite hard. As you can hear there, just that little sound is me just tapping the handbrake. It doesn't take much to throw this car sideways. Now that I'm starting to learn how to, you know, race in a rally sort of way when you have to focus more on the instructions of the co-driver rather than the actual track itself, I'm starting to get more confident with some of these corner speeds. I think Rally Monte Carlo is literally on and off the brake just pedalling through some of these corners just hoping for the best. Here is when I... Uh, didn't lose too much time, I actually got away with it quite well, but here is when I, I can't believe I screwed up the next one. <coughs> oh, a tree. Poor tree. <laughs> Poor me. Poor car. But for the most part, we've actually got a decent looking car for the next one, so... Look at that, Mickelson all the way down in ninth, 24 seconds off, Tiedemann 15 seconds off the leader, and Sunanen is, God, all these <laughs> Nordic names, or Scandinavian names I should say, so that helps us out, so we're back up into third, we've got a massive gap of 19, well not quite massive, but we've got 19 seconds to Mickelson, and we've got... Actually, Camille's caught up now, so we've only got 15-odd seconds back to him. So, if we could finish within 15 seconds of Camille and Mickelson in this final stage, then hopefully we should be able to come away with a podium. That's the goal. But it is wet. It is only 5k, so it's a short stage. As we saw Sunan and went before us there, but yeah, this is not going to be easy. It's just, we're going to have to take our time to adjust to the conditions, because in this WRC2 car, it's definitely going to be a lot slipperier than the junior WRC car that we ran just before this. Alright, here we go. Fighting for a podium. Final stage. Final day here at Rally France in WRC. Can we do it? 40, right 3, no cut, and left 4, 30. Right 3, and left 3, tighten. Keep out, and left three, tightens, into right three, Oh, no opens. grip, no! Oh my god, where am I going? Okay, we somehow ended back up on the racetrack. God, there's no grip on this surface at all. And right five, into kinks, 30. Lost left a lot of three, time there, so I'm trying to make it up. Into right five, keep it. And left two, opens, don't cut. And left three, tightens, into right three, 50. 
left five, keep in, bumps into oh, right turn. Oh my 40. god, I'm full lock trying to get this thing around some of these corners. Left four, short, tightens into right three, 50. Left two, short, and right five, break, and acute hairpin right, don't cut. And left six, keep out, 50. Come on, go. Left three, into right four, 100. Right five, short, Ouch. and left three, 50. Kinks, long, 100, bumps. Left three, long, tightens, don't cut, into kinks. Oh, I can't see the track. Yeah. Right three, long, opens. And left five, bumps, into right four, don't cut, 70. Right three, short, 30. Right four, tightens, three. Right four, opens. Into left three, opens, long, 30. Kicks, 40. Right two, opens, 40. Left Gosh. four, short, narrows, Almost 40, the side of the hill right there. four, into kinks, long. Right four, item three, into left five, 50. Right four, break, into left three. Into right four, item two, into left three, short, 30. Oh, gosh, our oh, turn. Left oh, three, dear. short, into right four, opens, 40. Hairpin left, tightens, 50. Flat left, and hairpin right, don't cut, 60. Right four, 30. It's so hard to get this car right around three, some of these hairpins in this weather. Three. And right five, short, 30, portion, break. Square left, 30, narrows, bumps, and left four, tightens, don't cut, and right six, 50. That was all right. Right four, bumps, short, 30, left three, 40. Right four, short, bumps, don't cut, 50, into uh. finished. Oh, did we get a podium? Did we get a podium? Please don't tell me it was that slow. Oh no, 20 seconds. Oh my gosh, and Sunanen was the leader. I mean, Sunanen, oh my god, I think we may have lost the podium there. Shit. It all started when this mistake, this mistake here cost us fifth, well, at least five seconds, I reckon. Here, just understeered straight off the road and then it just grabbed me. At this point I'm just flooring it trying to find something. <laughs> when the track popped up I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> God has guided us back to the racetrack. <laughs> Again, so far behind these corners here. Just no grip at all. Again, I'm not, I uh, apologise for not jumping straight to the results to see if we got that podium. I do like to have a look at these replays and get another look at the stage for before I run the WRC around here because, um, well, I don't practice any of the stages before I go on them, so this, this is my first time on every single stage. So I'm sort of seeing it as the first time, or for the first time with you guys, and I do like to try and memory bank as much as I can about the only thing I can take away from this stage is that it is slippery as hell. I mean, I, I'm surprised we were that slow actually. I didn't think I was that slow. I, was, I mean, we did make a big mistake at the start, but see there, I mean, that shine across the track, it sort of blinds your 
eyesight and I, my eyes couldn't adjust to it quick enough. I should have been well on the throttle there. I did the exact same thing in the Junior WRC just before this, so... Yeah, 10th on the final stage after winning the second last stage. I mean, if only we hadn't made those mistakes on the second last stage, we probably could have been able to pull out a bigger gap. Actually, no, it wasn't sooner, it was Camille that we needed to worry about. So I got that one wrong, actually. I think Sunanen was in the was in second. But my god, this is going to be such a hard stage in the WRC car. Just no grip at all. Oh god, that's killed me. Flirting with barriers. Fast. I remember that, that square left was really quite quick and then sort of, the, sort of the last sort of run to the finish through this forest area, made a little bit of a mistake here, or up ahead here somewhere, can't quite remember where it was, didn't quite carry enough speed through that left, but it was really quick across the line and 20th, okay so Camille was 14.9, oh my god it's going to be close. I don't want to press A. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got it. And by six tenths of a second. Oh, wow. I thought it was Sunanen that we would need to worry about, but it wasn't. It was Camille. So six tenths of a second after, you know, 60 Ks or whatever, or 50 Ks of rallying f over three days, six stages, we managed to grab a podium by, well, less than that, five tenths, so half a second. You know, after 30, half an hour of rallying, you know, to come away with a podium of up by half a second, Jesus, could not get much closer than that. Woohoo! Second podium of the year. So that'll elevate us up into the fifth spot. Unfortunately, we had a DNF, well not DNF, but we fell off the side of a, or rolled down backwards, just ever so slightly down the side of a mountain in Mexico. So we got no points there as we had to DNF one of the stages, but uh, we did drop down into what I believe was uh, like sixth or seventh actually. So we've actually got back up into the top five and we're only six points away from that Christian Vaby, Vaby, I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but uh, Sunanen is now, uh, well, actually, hold on. Yeah, Tiedemann has now grabbed the lead in the championship, so Sunanen is in second by just two points, and Mickelson, actually, Mickelson's all the way down in seventh, so that's quite shocking, actually, to be honest. But anyway, a podium and back up into the top five in the championship here in WRC2. The next round will be Argentina in a month's time. I believe a month's time. I'm not too sure actually. But yeah, no, that should be a fun round over in South America. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this rally in WRC2. It had some good moments and some bad moments. But to come away with a podium by just half a second, that is an awesome result. Stay tuned for WRC as we go and finish the final day there. Unfortunately, we're not quite in the same position as what we are here in WRC 2. We're 
way down after having some issues in the first stage on day one with hardware related, not me. It actually wasn't me for once, but yeah, hopefully we can cap off the weekend with a good result over there on WRC in the M Sport Ford Fiesta. Well, actually no, it's not a Ford, just M, M Sport Ford Fiesta WRC? I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Still can't keep track of all the different cars that I'm running and racing on this uh, on my YouTube channel. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.